everyone, and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today, when y'all are seeing it, it's going to be Thursday, January the 25th of 2024, and I'm coming at you guys with a vlog, kind of behind the scenes of my life besides just couponing. So hopefully you all are super excited to follow me along today. I have a story to share. So that's actually what we're going to start with. I have a story to share about something really, really crazy that happened to me. Uh, oh my goodness, this is crazy that people do stuff like this. Um... Yeah, I mean, it just sucks. It just sucks. So let me tell you what happened. Somebody stole something of mine. Yes, they did. Something was stolen from me. So basically what happened was last night, Bob Evans texted me and they sent me a 20% off coupon. And so we decided just to go ahead and order Bob Evans for dinner. It sounded really good. And we had like a busy day and none of us really wanted to cook. So we just went ahead and ordered Bob Evans since we had the coupon, you know, could get a decent deal on it. So we went ahead and ordered Bob Evans and I've ordered Bob Evans many a times and I've actually never had this happen. So basically what had happened though, is that Bob Evans, they actually have like this pickup area where they have like shelves and they just go and put the food on the shelf and you just come in and take it. If you prepaid online, which I did, I ordered it online. So I paid online. So I just came in, you know, get the food or whatever. That's what you're supposed to do. But I come in, they said to arrive at 6.04. I got there actually a little earlier, more like 6.01, something like that. Um, I get there and it's not on the shelf. So I was assuming they were still making it or whatever. But then the hostess comes out and she's like, hey, how can I help you? Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm here for a carryout for Nick. And she was like, uh, uh, Nick already got picked up. Like N Nick got picked up a few minutes ago. And I was like, what? I was like, I I'm Nick, I'm Nick. And she was like, someone just came in and got it a few minutes ago. And so I was like, uh, so what do we do? I was like, what are we going to do? Cause you know, I just paid, we just paid for this food and you know, we want dinner and stuff. Um, very nice and respectful. Cause I get like, it's not, it's not their fault. Things like this happen, unfortunately. Um, but it never had to me. So she gets a manager and then somebody else comes over there too. So there's three people and they feel so bad that this happened. And the manager basically says, well, I was like, can I get a refund? I just like asked for a refund at that point. Like I get my money back. And he said, well, we can call IT, but it'll take seven to 10 days to get your money back. He's like, well, I can just, you know, we just remake your food for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so I opted to just have them like remake the food or whatever, but the hostess felt so bad. She was like, I was seating somebody and I saw somebody come and get it off the tower. And she just assumed it was me. And she was like, you know, we assume that people, you know, are going to be honest and, you know, not steal and things like that. You just assume that this wouldn't happen, but unfortunately it has happened. And it's a, it's a problem in my area for sure, because, um, when I do DoorDash, most of the restaurants here, then I have a pickup tower, but you can't use it. Like so many people would steal. They literally hold it back. They won't even let you get it. Like they have to give it to you, physically hand it to you. You have to go up and ask for it. And so, yeah, maybe Bob Evans will start doing that because apparently this is just a problem in my area that people go around to restaurants and steal from the pickup tower, which sucks. How sad. That's what I told her, like, it's not your job to have to, you know, police the, the pickup tower area um, to make sure nobody steals food. But apparently that's what's going to, you know, how it's going to have to be because people have to ruin everything, right? So, yeah, but I got my food. They felt really bad. They actually upgraded um, some of our sides to be the family size. It was like four times as much food for the same price, which is really nice of them to do that um, to kind of make up for the whole drama. <laughs> so I appreciated that. But um, man, what a mess. Have any of you guys ever had your takeout order stolen before at a restaurant? Like did someone just come in and take it? It's like craziness. It's craziness. Um, so yeah, but that happened. That happened. So anyways, um, yeah. But anyway, guys, we are not risking that tonight. We're saving some money. We're going to cook tonight. So I'm going to be making some broccoli cheese soup. Super basic. I'm literally just using half and half cheese, broccoli, and chicken broth. I believe that's it. And I think garlic, maybe. I'll have to look at the exact recipe when I get home. But I'm going to show you guys how we make it. It's going to be super easy and super good. Love a good soup really all year long, but especially in the winter when it's cold, it hits the spot and it's just like perfect. So let's make some broccoli cheese soup. All right, so for dinner tonight, we made some broccoli cheese soup here. This actually was super easy to make and really good. So all you need is some chicken broth or chicken bouillon, half and half, broccoli, of course, cheese and garlic powder. Literally, it's that easy. So start out here by chopping up the broccoli. I basically just took all of the stems off of the broccoli. So it was literally just broccoli, no stems. So I pretty much used that entire bag of broccoli florets. So went ahead and chopped up those. Then I used bouillon, so I needed three cups of water. 
I added that to the pot and put the bouillon cubes in, but if you just use cans of chicken broth or whatever, you see about three cups worth. And to that, I added in half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I added in all of that broccoli. It's kind of hard to get it all into the pot. And then I put three-fourths cup of half and half. You could also use heavy cream, but I used half and half to make it a little bit lighter, and you didn't notice the difference. So you go ahead and bring that to a boil, then turn it down on low and let it simmer. Let it simmer for 10 to 20 minutes, and then add in the cheese. In about a half a cup increments, let the cheese melt, then add in more cheese. Use a total of two cups of cheese in this recipe, and yeah, you're just going to let it melt, and once the cheese is melted in, that is it. Literally, that is it, and the soup is complete. Oh my gosh, guys, this was amazing. Such a good soup recipe, super easy and perfect for the weather right now, so definitely I would highly recommend trying this out. All right, so dinner is done. That was amazing, so good. But now I am here at Kohl's because they are doing their big clearance sale. I love when they do this sale so much. It's an additional 50% off of the clearance prices. And seriously, I got so many of my presents for people at Kohl's last year on the clearance. So I wanna do it again this year. So I'm heading in to see what they have. Yeah, let's go into Kohl's. So this sale, you're basically just looking for anything at all that's on clearance. So anything that has like a clearance sticker on it, you will actually get 50% off of whatever the price is like after the clearance. And that will apply to anything that is on clearance. So you can get some really, really great deals with that. So just like peruse your coals, see what stuff they have marked down. That's what I'm going to do and see what kind of good stuff I can get for family or, you know, I might splurge on myself as well for now, but things I can get for gifts throughout the year while they're on a good sale. So it seems like a pretty good deal on the Lego sets. They have some of them marked down to $15.99, and then you get half off of that. So, I mean, it's like $8 for a Lego set. That's regularly $19.99, so that seems like a pretty good deal. The smaller Lego sets that are regularly $9.99 would only be $3.99, so that's pretty good as well. Seriously, guys, you can find things for so cheap on this Kohl's sale. So, like, these shorts that are regularly $16... They're marked down to $2.40, and then you get half off. So you literally would get these for $1.20, which is just insane. That's literally insane. Wow. All right, guys, done at Kohl's. Got a couple of things. I'll do like a haul in the car. Look how foggy it is, though. This is pretty, pretty crazy. But pretty cool. This shopping center has actually been pretty, like, dead for a while. I mean, they've still had stuff. I would say about half of it was empty. But I don't know if they got new management or what, but they're getting a bunch of new stuff in here. So over there, they're getting a store called Bell's Outlet and Home Centric, which I guess is owned by Bell's. So that's going to be there. They were getting an Academy Sports over there. So that's pretty cool. My town loses a lot. We don't usually get new stores, but I'm excited for some new stuff coming to All my right, town. Guys, we are back in the car and we are about to have a little mini Coles haul here. I got a couple of really, really good things. I didn't get a ton of stuff, honestly. Number one, the store's going to close in like 20 minutes. So I got here and I didn't have a ton of time to shop, but I did the best I could. And, you know, it's just a lot. I want to come back. Hopefully I can make it back before the sale ends. They have so many, like, oh my gosh, so many clothing items at Kohl's that are on clearance. Like, it just takes time to peruse through all of it and, like, go through all the racks. It's a lot. So hopefully I can make it back. But the good thing about Kohl's is they will do this sale multiple times a year. Like this is not the only time they'll do it. They will do it again. So definitely we'll have lots of other opportunities throughout the year to do the Kohl's clearance. And you know, this is how I get my Christmas stuff and birthday gifts and things like that. I shop these clearance sales and the Kohl's 50% off is one of my favorites. So I got some really good deals though on some kids clothes and on a little stocking stuffer for my dad. So for Zola, which is Katie's daughter, if you guys remember Katie from the vlogs, she's my cousin, um, they're new to South Carolina, but she has a baby, she's going to be, well, she's not even a baby anymore, she's like a little adult, honestly, um, but she's going to be two in May. So with her birthday coming up so soon, I wanted to go ahead and pick up these cheap outfits from Kohl's. So first one is this, it's a bodysuit, it's Little Mermaid, it says ready to make a splash. This was originally $10, it said it was $5, but it actually was marked down to $4. And then we got half off of four. So $2 for this. Like that is such a great deal. So that was awesome. Then another thing for her is this Carter's. It's like a two set here. Um, it's like this flower shirt. And then another one of those like bodysuits. It's, um, let me, if I can get it in the frame, it's like, a, I don't know what you, what pattern do you call this? I don't know. But I got that. 
This was $5 and some change. So that was pretty good for two, I think, for two different shirts. So that was good. And then for my cousin Corey's son, the twins, they're twins. Um, there's a boy and a girl. They're going to be four coming out really soon, which is crazy to me that <laughs> they're already four. Um, I remember when they were like first born. It's crazy. But this was like amazing. He loves cars. He adores cars so much. And so when I saw this, I had to get it. It's like a car button down shirt and a pair of shorts. And this was marked down. Guys, this is $3.40 for the shorts and the shirt. $3.40. Originally $34. So, I mean, we literally got this 90% off. That, yeah, that's insanity right there. That's why the Kohl's sale, you literally can't beat it. If you have kids, go to Kohl's right now and get your, like, kids clothes for so cheap. And then for my dad, I picked this up. It's a 80s trivia. Um, my dad grew up in the 80s. He's always, like, loving the 80s, listening to 80s music, talking about the 80s. So I thought he'd like this. Um, 80s trivia, it was regularly $7.99, but it was marked down to $4.39, so half off was $2.19. So not too shabby, not too shabby. So... Little haul over at Kohl's. I'm going to go ahead and call this one a vlog. I really hope y'all did enjoy following me along. I'll be back next Thursday with another one. And thank you so, so much for watching.